farming secrets. And Alan, you're on board here? Yes, I'm on board too. Fantastic. Um, we hope you can all hear us. Please let us know in the chat room that you can hear us today so that we can get going and let us know where you're from too. And, oh, yes, here we are. I can hear you from Karambara. Jean Belstead. Oh, George Mingan. Welcome, George. Anita. Norfolk Island. Wonderful. Okay. Well, we, we, know, we know people can hear us. That's great. So keep putting in the chat room where you're from. We know you can hear us now, so that's wonderful. So let's get going. I'm just going to move that little window away. Central America. Will, hi. Okay, so Ellen, is that Zoom chat in your screen? Can you see it? Uh, I can see the Foundation Steps for Ecological Soil Management. Yes, yeah, it's, it's the... That's, um, That's it's, great. It's okay. the start of the PowerPoint. Yes, I can see it. Excellent. Okay, so this is who's online today. There's Ellen on the right who has written this wonderful course and uh, we're going to hear all about it today. And Hugo and Helen on the left uh, from Farming Secrets. <coughs> So, one of these describes you, you are in the right place. You want to finally solve your biggest farming challenge. You have a farm but not getting the results you work, you want. You know you need to change but don't know how. That's, that covers a lot, of, a lot of farmers right now because they're realising that they really do need to change. You're looking for advice that you can trust, that's very important. Do you not have a farm, but uh, grow your own food? You want coaching. Alan's here and we're here. Or maybe you're a consultant helping other farmers. I know James um, does a lot of work with other farmers. And you're looking for uh, to join a like-minded group. <clears throat> and you are already taking steps to become regenerative, and I know a few of you here are doing just that. So what you'll discover on this webinar, you'll find out more about Alan, who is presenting the Ecological Soil Management course. You'll learn about farming secrets. You'll also learn about why ecological farming. You'll get an overview of the course structure, an outline of the lessons, the outcomes of the course for you, and finally, an invitation to register and what's included for you today. And we do have a special bonus at the end, so please stay on board because that bonus will go away. Okay, Ellen, tell us about yourself. Yeah, well, I come from a farming background in the northeast of Victoria, in, in southeastern Australia. Um, I've spent uh, the last 35 years involved with uh, organic farming as a a member of the committee of uh, the Organic Agriculture Association that's based in uh, in Bairnsdale in Eastern Victoria. Um, I wrote the first organic farming diploma course, which uh, ran through TAFE for quite a long time. This particular one is not running at the moment, but hopefully it will uh, it will come up again. Uh, I spent the uh, 10 years until I retired a couple of years ago working at a big farm called Strathfield Say and my role there was in monitoring the effects of, uh, of uh, planned grazing, uh, the, the effects on the soil and on the pasture and on the livestock. So um, I've, I've got quite a lot of experience in, uh, in organic farming and ecological farming. The, the difference you could say is Ecological farming is more broad. Organics really just refers to people who want organic certification. And quite a lot of ecological farmers are not so interested in doing that. Okay, sorry, Alan, I pushed a slide ahead. Do keep going. All right, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I've always been interested in, in how people farm in different parts of the world. And because my, uh, my son-in-law is from East Africa, I often go there and have discussions with, uh, with his father on, uh, on farming methods. Um, I'm about to go to Vietnam uh, in January to do some teaching there too. So I've, I have collected quite a lot of material and information from different parts of the world, which 
um, I can, it, it might not all be included in the course, but it's a, there available for people who ask for specific things. That's my turn for you, Ellen, that you're a lifetime student. Uh, yes, yes, you never stop learning. In fact, I think the more you, the more you learn, the more you know, the more you realise there's a lot you don't know. That's so true. I think that's true for anyone who's on this webinar today too. And uh, you've just come back from the biological conference up in Queensland and, um, you know, what, four days or three days? Yeah, three days. Yeah. Three days, yeah. So Ellen, I, I could say, is a, a very, very keen student. And a prolific author. So you might like to say something about that, Alan. Uh, I, um, I had a book published um, at the beginning of last year on sustainable agriculture versus corporate greed, which is on all the, the, uh, the, the factors that prevent farmers from making a good living and getting paid for the work that they do. But I'm, I'm always... Um, I'm always researching and writing, and uh, particularly in our, our local magazine, which is called Seedbed. Um, so, yeah, I'm always, um, always doing something for that. Okay. Hugo, perhaps you'd like to tell people what we've done. Well, come from a farming background. It's been bred into us. Um, parents are farmers. Their grandparents are farmers. And uh, I was a farmer with a partner for some 10 years. We started start a farm supply store and we learnt a lot from our customers who came to the farm supply store to the point that we decided uh, gradually, because we were very much conventional farm supply store, gradually and as quickly as we could actually, uh, to start handling natural products and that sort of thing. So about 95 we sold the business and we hived off a section of the business which was selling natural fertilizers, natural stock supplements and um, then we learnt a lot from winter field days and learnt, learnt a lot from our farmers themselves. And Jane, who's on the call, who's a homeopath, we met her on our travels too and um, so we, we we kept learning from people as we went out farming and meeting successful farmers and our knowledge like our lines has been built up over a number of decades. Let's leave it at that. But we do see ourselves as early pioneers of biological farming and uh, suffered quite a lot of um, comments and field days from people wanting to know if we're selling magic bullets. Initially, that, that, <laughs> that changed as time went on. The change has been huge over, over time and so many more people are interested in knowing more about their soil and that's why you're here today. So why ecological farming? Ellen, would you like to say a little bit about that? Well, I suppose the main point is that, um, that chemical farming is a failure. Um, food is contaminated. Um, Glyphosate is in just about everything you eat and it's possibly responsible for a lot of the ill health that's, um, that we have in the world today. Also, at the same time, the mineral content of, of uh, produce has gone down enormously. So um, this, you know, the chemically produced food is just not healthy for you. Um, the... the other issues are that um, the <clears throat> herbicides don't work so much anymore. Uh, so many plants have become resistant. Insects have become resistant to chemicals. Soil has been so destroyed by nitrate and phosphate fertilisers that you've got to use more and more to get the same results. And, and farm indebtedness is just, is just huge. So... Uh, the people have to stop <clears throat> stop the system of chemical farming and go to what is the farming of the future, which is ecological farming, which might have a lot of different words in different parts of the world, and even even within Australia, it's got different terms too. But um, it's 
it's a necessary thing that we all have to do. And it's not, we're not talking about going back to the past. This is using the most up-to-date um, scientific information on biology and ecology in order to produce foods in a natural environment. So we're going to have now go in and have a look at the uh, course. We will have questions later. Um, but Ellen has set the course up. We're so thrilled that he agreed to put this course up online because we have found that a lot of farmers, their problems are coming because they don't understand their soil. So this course has been put up for busy farmers, self-paced, so you can go online anytime you like. The lessons are written and presented by Ellen. You have a lifetime access to the course. And once they're made available online, because they've dripped out in stages, not to overwhelm you, they will remain there for you to access permanently while we uh, have this wonderful thing called the internet. <coughs> so Ellen, um, maybe you'd like to tell people about, what, we're going to tell you what's in each of the five lessons. So Ellen, please go ahead. Yes, the, the course is divided into five lessons and within each lesson there's several topics from three up to six or seven. And in order to progress through the course, you, you do one topic at a time and then there will be questions at the end of it and you can't actually proceed until you get those questions right, which does mean that you, you are learning as you go and it has to stick in your head in order to get on to the next part. So we start with soil carbon because it's soil carbon depletion, which is part of the reason why there's so many problems in agriculture. So we've got to boost that carbon up again to get the carbon out of the atmosphere and put it back into the soil where it was and where it should be. So that, that's the, the first section. We provide the, the foundation of, the, of, of this course in, in agriculture. We, we look at the different techniques for understanding your soil. These are just simple things. Um, looking at the soil profile, providing, um, doing a few simple tests, um, examining the plants and, and you'll learn how different weeds that are growing there can tell you to some extent what is wrong with that soil. Um, so these are, these are things apart from having a, a soil lab test done. Simple things that are quite easy to do on your own land. Yeah, and we had feedback um, from one, one of our students saying how he, he really appreciated that section, Ellen, on uh, understanding to be able to look at his plants and now have a bit more handle on what his soil is actually telling him. Yeah. Okay, the next one. Yeah. Uh, that's on soil biology. Um, and this is the life in the soil. And <clears throat> the, the course explains what each of these different sections of the soil biology, the bacteria, the fungi, the nematodes, the uh, protozoa, earthworms and all those, what their con contribution to the soil is and how you can enhance their activities because they can provide all of the nutrients that you need. There's so many soils that have, have got a lot of the nutrients there in the soil and it can only be brought to life with brought to life through through plants by means of these uh, the soil biology and modern modern agricultural chemicals and other techniques destroy this destroy the ability of the natural uh, biology in the soil to uh, <coughs> to get the system working and it's particularly fungi fungi are the most the, the easiest destroyed by um, nitrate fertilisers, um, phosphate fertilisers, um, various different herbicides and fungicides. So we look at all of those different components and how they all work together and what you can do to get the best benefits from them. Okay, 
This lesson four, achieving balance in the soil, that is on the relationship between the different uh, minerals in the soil. And <clears throat> a lot of this can only be determined by doing a soil lab test. And I know in some parts of the world, it can be very difficult to get labs that uh, uh, are able to do a proper soil test. Uh, there are several in Australia. I know there's several in North America. I actually don't know about other parts of the world. But I know that particularly in Southeast Asia, it's very, very difficult to, to get that. And often um, the farmers there have to send their soil samples to, uh, uh, to the United States in order to get them examined. And you can't send them to Australia because of quarantine regulations. So in this, in this we, uh, unit, uh, we talk about what von Liebig did, the German chemist who was, is credited with the uh, invention of chemical agriculture, of chemical fertilisers and the, the promotion of their use. So, and the opposite to that is William Albrecht, who worked out that uh, calcium is the most important element in the soil and it's a relation between the different cations and anions in the soil which make the big difference and that's what the important thing is to uh, um, in order to uh, to get the system working properly and we also spend time on looking at a, a soil test and how to interpret that and there's an example there on the on the left of the screen Okay, and then we get on to the various different methods that can be used to improve the soil. So letting air in the soil, that picture on the right is a soil aeration machine, which uh, cuts into the soil without turning it, and that allows um, the air and the water to get into that soil, stirs up the microbes and gets them to work properly. Um, so that breaks down the compaction of the soil. Um, we look at compost making, worm farming, uh, compost teas, uh, the use of, uh, of uh, biochar, brown coal, lots of other different kinds of things. Uh, the, different <coughs> the different biological products that you can apply or make, how to use green manures, uh, all that, all that sort of thing. So we, we cover all of those in, in how to improve the soil. Some of the, it also in, includes um, the addition of uh, various different mineral fertilizers like, like lime or rock phosphate or something like that. But there's a lot of things farmers can do that don't cost very much that can um, improve that soil for them. All right, so I'll go on, Helen. No, go on, I was just going to say, this is what Ellen um, promised the soil, soil course will deliver. So go ahead, Ellen, sorry. Yeah, so what, what you should be able to do after you've completed the course is read the signs of the soil, conduct, conduct basic soil tests, be able to boost, boost the soil biology, um, increase soil carbon and, and uh, drought hardiness, interpret a soil lab test, make compost and worm castings, um, use plant diversity to improve the soil fertility, which largely in, involves the, the growing of multiple crops and uh, green manure crops. And at the end, to plan a, a comprehensive soil fertility program that suits you. Now, this, we can't provide prescriptions because there are so many different environments and different soils in the world and it's just not possible to provide um, a, a prescription. Even on one part of your farm, what you do there might be quite different to what you need to do on another part of the farm. So the aim is to, to, get, um, to get people to be able to work out what is best for their own land. So when you leave this webinar, you've already got some great information from us, right? But if you haven't done ecological farming before, it can be a little overwhelming, right? 
So what can you do about it? Is it okay if we now show you a fast and easy way to make all this happen for you? So this is the course outline. It's self-paced and online course. There are five lessons which we value at 297 because, and it's a guess, but um, we believe this is a very comprehensive program. Uh, there are 24 topics all up, each with a video introduction, and each lesson includes a workbook, a quiz, a video, and a transcript. At the end, there is a certificate of completion, which is important for some people to um, show if they want to start working for other farmers or become a consultant. There's also a glossary, which um, has further oh, huge length of further references. And of course, you've got Alan and us who are here to support you when you get stuck and um, uh, want, to, want to go ahead. And it is individualised. And this is from someone who's in the middle of the course at the moment. Um, she's finding that she, as she's very interested in the soil, but what she's finding is it's not only interesting and informative, she's sometimes trying to get a head around how involved the soil could be, and this can be challenging. And this is where she finds the quiz at the end of each topic a good thing. For her, it challenges her memory and how much she can recall about what she's just learned. She also finds the narrative at the start of each section. That's a little video Zellan has done to introduce, so from one minute through to about eight minutes, because she's visual. So she, but we've tried to cover it to the waist. But anyway, that's what um, Trina has to say. Um, so here's what else is included is six one hour Zoom sessions. We haven't quite got there on this uh, so far, but we've run, run a couple and we do intend to run a lot more so you can chat. Unlimited email access and a private online network group. So can you do this in another way? Yes, you can get an independent consultant, a government farm advisor, follow a plan from your local supplier, a bit dangerous, or even engage in an advisory company. Or you may spend time going to talks, field days, taking courses, reading farm journals and books and talking to your mates down at the pub. You know, a lot of, we do, well, we all do that, but... Um, is this really going to get you where you need to be right away? It may cost, and people have told us, they've spent tens of thousands of dollars, wasted their time, and sent them backwards with the advice they've got, and in some cases, unfortunately, sent farmers broke, and um, we don't want this to happen to you. We'll give you all our years of experience, uh, which... Ellen, I reckon tell you up to quite, quite a lot um, because we're also really in the retirement bracket. But we just love doing this, so we're still here um, spreading our support. So we believe there's no comparison. We're totally independent. It's from Azadio in Africa who's very happy that he started effectively learning. There are many good skills he's equipping himself through this course and he's sure he'll be able to cultivate organically and increase crop harvest without polluting the nature with chemicals. The instructor, Ellen, is also very good. I never expected to have a good lecturer. This also interests me to continue further. Thank you for caring. So here's why we're going to give you this amazing offer today. I think this would be yes from everything. Would you like to do less work and spend less money but have more time to become more profitable? Well, we do know plenty of profitable, healthy and happy farmers who are already doing this, don't we, Alan? Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, and yeah. all the evidence shows that ecological farmers are happier than chemical farmers. Yeah. So we want to share their successes with you. And this is an invitation today for you to join them. We believe farmers need to prosper and succeed. And you are the pillars of your community. And it's where it's all about agriculture. Would you like to join our network of farmers and find out how to do all this? This course 
we believe is the basis for all your successful farming operations. So you won't pay as much as we've just mentioned before today at all. We have a guarantee also to cover you if you do take the step to join us today. When you do, we have a 30 day back money guarantee to ensure you're satisfied because we really, really want to work with you and we're not interested if you're not happy. So you can give us a go. We'd much rather you give us a go uh, than say, oh, no, 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 I don't know whether I want to do it. Just go for it. And this is from another farmer, Stuart. Um, he also loves the course notes and videos. He's really enjoyed the course and the course notes and videos have been a great learning method. I really think this course is going to assist me with my personal development as both a farmer and a father. Now that's a huge statement there. And um, we believe that it's, it's given him the confidence. It's just fantastic. So, farming powered by soil ecology. Do you want to go through this, Ellen? All right. Yes, as I mentioned before, there's there's five lessons and they're divided into topics. Uh, there's a there's course manual. The, you can go at whatever pace you like. Um, there's there's because people can start at any time and they can finish whenever they want to. Um, <clears throat> And Helen's mentioned that uh, the questions, the videos, and so so on. Um, we haven't got a world map of men. We have, we have, we have. I've told you. Yes. Right. Oh, right. <laughs> okay. It's been yeah. so much. And I'm, I'm looked at it. I'm really so excited because the world map comes up. Yeah. You can enlarge it, and it actually has the names of all the farmers who've done our courses all registered in on the map already. But no, we do. So when you travel, you can click on, say, when Alan goes back to Africa, he can click on the map and find a member there. So no, I'm really excited about this. <laughs> okay. Now I'm available at at, at, at any time uh, on on the Facebook page or or just directly by email. Um, this course is it's really for a broad range of people. Um, it's, it, it doesn't matter what climate you're in, temper, temperate, tropical, semi-arid, um, or it doesn't matter what the scale of your farm is. So even home gardeners have, are finding this course quite interesting and useful. Um, so you can be a full-time farmer, part-time farmer, or just a gardener. Um, and you get a certificate at the end. This is a non-accredited course, which means you don't get some formal certificate that's uh, nationally recognised, but you do get a certificate from Farming Secrets. So that's the value that we're providing you. You won't pay that today. Today it's only $4.97. Um, and it, we really want you to... Uh, give us a go today um, because we do believe it's such good value. So if you want to join us, you can register here. And here's the um, registration. Sorry, I'm getting, getting confused here. I'll put that um, link so you can click it. But if you'd like to join us today and you're ready to join, please go to that link now and join us. It's, um, I'm going to keep talking, so I'll just put it in the chat box so I can move the screen forward. Just a minute. Um, and that's in Australian dollars too, um, for those of you who are wondering. Now, I hope I've got that right. I've put it in the chat room, so let's keep going. So we also have an awesome bonus. If you act today, and if you're listening to this webinar afterwards, because I know some of you couldn't join, we'll hold this bonus open. Um, but we've done this because we don't want you to miss out. We want to reward you if you jump in today. And 
I know I keep talking about it, but we do have the guarantee. And it is a guarantee of 30 days trial. And if you don't like it, let us know and we refund your money. Um, we, we don't think you're going to do that, but that's what we offer. This bonus today is to become part of our Farming Secrets Membership Club, which gives you three months free Foundation Club membership. In the library, in the membership, we have with only 100 Walk the Talk videos, which are of those successful farmers that we're talking about, and key presenters in ecological farming. We have uh, just as many interviews. We have access weekly to gold nuggets, which people love. Hugo has phone consultations, which you can book. And we have access to the network of experts. That's valued at a further 1947 for those three months. Uh, and here's some of the people, here's Jean <laughs> in the middle here, um, who we filmed and worked with, and you'll see Christine Jones, Elaine, uh, Nicole Masters, um, Peter Andrews, the Haggerty's of the Cropping Farmers, here's Martin with very successful dairy farmers, Davo, who's the worm farmer, Gerhard Hamish with biological farming, a lot, Gary Zimmer, Colin Sice, pasture croppers, it goes on and on and on. So um, they're the sort of people you'll be able to access. So what do you get when you join? Well, this is what we're offering. I understand I'm getting access to a one-time offer worth over $8,747,000. It's training for a very low investment. It is available for a low time. And then today, if you register, you'll also receive a bonus, which is the three-month free access that we just told you about. And to summarise, that's here. Um, so it's, it's huge, the support you'll get. At this stage, most of you here, probably at this stage of being early adopters, of turning your back on industrial farming and getting in ahead. And if you start changing now or you've already started changing, you're going to be answering the needs to many consumers and also to the needs of our planet. So, Ellen, top seven reasons to register today. The Ecological Soil Management course is the result of Ellen's experience. It's a brand new course which underpins all you need to know to solve your challenges. Each lesson presents each topic in detail. There's 27 topics, I think. And we, do, we are talking about detail, depth and quality of information with regular updates. Through authority, you are an experienced field practitioner. You're also an author, farmer, gardener and consultant with clientele around the world. And you are extraordinarily willing to share your knowledge. Available solutions. Uh, geared to real world farmers and the advice you hear will scale to all sizes of operations. And I want to just add there that um, we really do believe farming shouldn't be input of a lot of money. We are finding solutions where people are, have reduced their money and inputs enormously. So you'll have access to answers for you and um, explanations and save you years of farming missteps. You'll meet like-minded inventive farmers. Um, we've had people share some quite interesting solutions for uh, stock choice supplement access and making their own composting machines, all sorts of stuff. So it's, it's wonderful. Um, and you have access, the bonus, remember the bonus, access to our entire library. And this is the first time offer, which we don't believe will be repeating with, uh, at, for this price ever. So if you're thinking about it, we invite you to hop in today. This is just an overview to remind you again. Uh, this is from Trina again. This is another part of what she told us. She said, she's found how complex the soil can be and how to fix problems can sometimes be quite simple. What she's discovered so far would be how complex the soil can be, how to fix problems that arise can sometimes be quite simple. Also, how the soil gives warnings about what is going on under feet. 
the messages through weeds, colour and texture of soil and the life that lives within. Also, she's found it doesn't cost the earth to remedy and restore, just a little bit of knowledge and action on our behalf. I'm lucky to have this course to help me learn more about what I love doing. So have a think about it. Would you like to join Trina and have similar comments to us in the future to come? Up in the chat if you're going to join us. We'd love to have you here. You've got the um, link in the chat which will give you access to joining us today. So don't forget we have the guarantee. Today it's only $4.97 and Pat says I've already joined. Congratulations Pat, that's really exciting. We really welcome you here, don't we Ellen? Yes, certainly. Yep. Fabulous, really exciting. <clears throat> so um, maybe you have some questions uh, about what you've heard today. Um, and if you have, please put them in the chat room and we'll give it a go to answer these questions for you. Uh, it might be a simple thing that you're wanting to know, but you, you can register today, you don't have to start today. The course starts when you start and you go at your own pace. And I think that's just great because, um, you know, we all, as farmers, you all have very, very um, busy time. Um, Jean wants to know what time is the cutoff time. Jean, if you want to get the bonus, um, we will be extending uh, it to people if they indicate that they really need to know, um, need a little time to work with it. Uh, the we do have a. Does, is that clear, Jean? We. We'll, we can talk to you about that later, but the cutoff time really is when this webinar um, ends after the replay, which will be in a, I'd say, Sunday that we'll be cutting it off. Uh, Anita, um, you want to know if there's a payment plan? Yes, you can pay in two payments. Uh, the payments from memory are, I can't remember. If you click on the form and scroll down, if you click on this website here, you will find that um, if you scroll down to the end, there's a payment. It's two payments instead of the one payment at 497. So, will that help you? Uh, you would like to do maybe a fortnightly deduction. Yes, we can arrange things for you. We're we're just so keen for people to join <laughs> that we don't want to cut you off. So, yes, we can arrange something for you. Um, Okay, Jean's got a repairman coming and needs to juggle her payment. Jean, I'm sure we can work out something for you. So, um, you know, we're, we're, we're really here who really want to um, want support and, and to get things right. So you've got a very good basis to move forward. Pat wants to know... Um, if people, can, her friends can access the webinar replay. Uh, Pat, we'll give you a link uh, to the replay. We haven't got it right now because obviously it's still going, but um, we'll send it to you. And it goes for everyone. We'd love you to share this webinar with people so that they can all join in and get going on having a truly wonderful, happy, healthy farming life. So are there any more questions? Anything for Ellen that you want to um, ask him in particular about maybe you've got a problem right now and you, you don't want to wait and you want to ask him now, please put it in the chat because um, we really, you know, even if you don't join, we're here for you. So add your question now. So Hugo, is there anything else you'd like to say? I've done a lot of talking. No, it's all, all good. Uh, I'd like Ellen to... Uh, explain the situation that uh, in, most, in a lot of cases when the farmer's been using chemicals uh, on the crops or etc., uh, there's a certain belief that they can't change. Um, what steps would, uh, two questions, what steps would a farmer take to start changing and can they uh, trial areas, a smaller area, to get their confidence? So, can you make some sort of comment on uh, the difficult, 
how easy it is to change if you only start. Yes, um, th there are various ways of starting. Some people uh, do a, a, a complete changeover, um, go, just going cold turkey, and sometimes they, they find their, their yield goes down for a, a, a year and then it just goes back up to what it was before. It's probably better to do it in a more gradual basis. So you... Um, um, you you either trial things on one part of your farm just just to see what it can be work or you do everything gradually so you stop using nitrate fertilizers for example start growing green manure crops um, use rotational grazing systems if you are um, if you do have livestock and that can make a huge difference to to the uh, to the land um, you can start using some biological preparations, aerate the soil. There are many simple things that you can do without completely changing. There's quite a lot of regenerative farming, farmers. Um, just do it gradually. Um, just gradually reduce their inputs um, until, until after several years they find that they don't actually need them anymore. So, yeah, it's not so hard. Um, a question uh, on on how to deal with invasive grass. Well, yes. If it's in a grazing situation, then it's actually quite easy to do with uh, with uh, a good rotational grazing system, where you uh, you only graze for a few days with a large mob of animals, and then you move them on, and they don't return to that place. Um, until that pasture has completely recovered, which might be weeks, it might be months, it might be a year, depending on, on the particular environment. And I've found from my own experience that ca that can get rid of, um, of quite a lot of, of uh, grass weeds. Um, now, if, if it's in a cropping situation, Yes, there are different ways of going about it, but it's, it still can be done. It's most important to, uh, to realise that if, whenever you've got bare soil, you're going to have weeds. You're going to have plants growing that you don't want. So minimise the amount of bare soil you've got and you'll minimise the weeds that you've got. Um, so, yeah, there are, there are ways uh, for for managing invasive grasses and also invasive woody weeds too. Um, and in, in the, we, we touch on this in this course, but there'll be another course coming up sometime in the future, which will be on uh, methods for managing pests, diseases and weeds. And so we'll go into that topic a lot more in that course. Yes, here's a list of some of the things that Ellen's got in mind um, to follow on from this course. This is a foundation course, and once you've done this course, um, Ellen will take you on to other other courses, and um, you know to keep opening up what you're wanting. So, if you want, you can send in um, a, a message now saying, "Well, if you're not joining this one because you feel as though you." already have the foundation, uh, perhaps you'd like to give some suggestions to Ellen of where you really are lacking in your knowledge and what you'd like to see. That'd be right, Ellen. You, you're pretty au fait with uh, teaching anything, I would think. <laughs> in relation to agriculture. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, so... This is, this is the other things that we can... And when you're part of Farming Secrets, you'll find we've already got quite a lot of information in there about um, other areas. We, we've covered a lot of filming with people who have... Farmers who have been getting their farming to the stage that all farmers would like to get to. So you've got free access to that as well, which is fantastic. Jean, done. Well done. Congratulations and welcome. That's great. <laughs> now, Jean, I've actually got a quick question for you. Are yes? you still uh, preparing um, 
homeopathic remedies for dairy farmers because okay. I've actually given your contact details to uh, to a dairy farmer in the, in, uh, the north, north coast of New South Wales who is uh, very interested in, uh, in using them. Jane, that's a question for you. I'll answer for you. Yes, Jane is. She's okay. very active in that. Good. And we've also gone to Jane for courses in um, muscle testing and emotional healing and we've thoroughly enjoyed it. They're in her house and it, it's, Jane, you're just a gift to people. So if people do want to know more about homeopathics and you've joined us, you'll be able to have a look at her um, well, there you go. Jane says she's had someone contact her and mentioned you, Alan. So oh, that's great. Good. This is what it's all about, networking and getting people in touch with the right people. Um, yes, but as I was saying with Jean, um, I've forgotten now. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's it's uh, just wonderful how yeah, Jean operates her own home and... Um, Yes, so homeopathics, you don't know anything about it, look it up. Well, Helen, I can say something there, <laughs> yeah. is that uh, one dairy farmer from around the Bega area who was spending $30,000 a year on milk fever to correct it within, in, on his herd, uh, he bought some drops from uh, Jean and with a, just pocket money, or it's actually less than pocket money, he fixed up a $30,000 problem. Now, that is saying something. That, that's actually what did happen. There you go. We've, we've got lots of similar stories like that too. Um, so Jean is certainly out there and offers fantastic support, even over the, over the phone when our dog was sick. Uh, Jean, Jean is a very intuitive person and she could advise us on to how to help our poor little doggy who was reaching her end of life. But we did what we could and, um, yeah, so anyway, I've said enough probably. <laughs> we've got lots of wonderful people for you to be in contact with and we're excited about that so anything else Ellen I'd like you to talk a little bit about the organic organization of Australia the Association of Australia that you're involved with because they've been running for yonks and have a wonderful library and a wealth of information and put out a a regular newsletter called Seedbird. Would you like to say something about that? Right. Now, the organisation is actually called the Organic Agriculture Association. So it's okay. not really a national organisation. It's no, a local one that's based in Gippsland in, in eastern Victoria. It's been going since 1984. It's probably one of the longest lived organic organisations, at least in Australia. Um, others have come and they've gone, but ours has uh, maintained its activity not to the original level that we uh, that we started with, uh, but we we're still producing our quarterly magazine Seedbed, which uh, we, we've been doing for the last thirty, thirty three, or thirty four years. Um, and uh, we still we have international visitors coming. We put on uh, talks. Um, we occasionally organise um, conferences. Um, just this year, we had a, a one-day uh, seminar with uh, with a couple of international speakers. One from Vietnam, one from Iran, and also Andre Loy, who is the former president of the. In the International Federation of Organic Agriculture Movements, speaking on his uh, recent books, Poi book, Poisoning Our Children, which is on the dangers of pesticides. And we had Liz Clay speaking too, his uh, long established uh, organic vegetable grower in, uh, in Gippsland. So it was, a, it was a really good day and uh, um, we'd like to be able to do a lot more of this, but uh, you know we we're all volunteers, and uh, you know there's a, there's a limit to what we can do. But um, anyone can join. Um, most of our members are in Gippsland, but there are some from other parts of Victoria and some interstate as well. And so, yeah, it's um, we we 
we help uh, as much as we can in publicising the benefits of, uh, of ecological agriculture and chemical free food. And just to add on to that, we did film the last conference and um, getting DVDs ready for you. So, Ellen, I might just put the, um, it's OAA, but what's your website, what's the website? Organic? Uh, organics at oaa.org.au. Hang on, organic at? Organics, it's yep. got an S on it, at oaa.org.au. I, I think that's right, but I, I'm not quite sure if the OAA goes before <laughs> the at yes, or after the at. <laughs> so the web, you've got a website, have you? Yes. So what, what is the actual website? Well, that's what I said. Oh, www, sorry. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. It won't be then at, it'll be... Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah, so that must be the... That's the email address, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Um, uh, it's probably, I'd say, www.oaa.org.au. Anyway, give it a look. Look it up, and uh, if you Google it, it'll be, oh, there we are. Anita's put it in. Okay. Oh, and we had it right, Ellen. That's fantastic. Thanks, Anita. It's <laughs> wonderful. So you've got a lot to explore there. All right. Well, is there anything else anyone wants to say? Because I think if not, we will say farewell. Hugo, have you got anything to say? Well, the future of farming is um, farmers who produce toxin-free food and fibre, that includes cotton, uh, for a community that appreciates it and that community appreciates the farmers who are doing that sort of work. It's that link between farmers and community. That's where future of agriculture is. And it's actually, in my opinion, the future of uh, uh, humanity. And Ellen, have you got anything to in final words? Uh, y yes. Uh, the agriculture has to change enormously. Uh, it's doing so much damage to, to the environment, to people's health, to, to water, uh, and to farmers themselves. So it all has to change and we, we are pleased to be able to help facilitate this change. And the numbers who are, of people who are doing it around the world, it's, it's increasing all of the time. So welcome everybody. Yeah. All right, on that note, I'll say farewell too, support everything's being said and we really, our lives are all about working with you to help wherever we can. So please make contact with us and um, we'll say goodbye and, you know, thank you those who've joined today. Thank you very much. And um, we'll look forward to hearing more from everyone. Okay.